Hello everyone, this is Ted with OAX Ray, and today we're going to go over how your account can be hacked and how you can stop this from happening. So in addition to all the Amazon new sellers that have been hopping on listings, trying to scam buyers, and just all of this, these things that are going on, there's also been some account hackings that have been going on. So essentially what people have been doing is they have been hacking buyer accounts and seller accounts. So whenever they hack a buyer account, from what I've seen, and as we can see on the screen, someone's actually on the Facebook, Amazon page, and what the person did was they went into their buyer account, they spent thousands of dollars using their credit card number and all that information, and then they just sent it to a different address, and I don't know if they sold to a buyer and then just purchased with that credit card and use that um, information for another account, or if they just sold the items once the items got there, what type of credit card fraud it was, but you need to protect your account, meaning changing your password every few months to make sure that you don't have to deal with this situation. The bigger issue as far as the dollar wise is whenever you have a seller account. So. Um, what I've seen actually yesterday was someone had an account, they have a payout, they have a larger account, they're selling a lot of volume. They had $38,000 in their Amazon payout. So 38,000 bucks, it's about to get paid out. And whenever the money gets paid out, they're waiting their three or four days before it hits their account. And they notice the money doesn't go into their account. Call up their bank, bank says, you know, we don't see a deposit coming, it's not here couple more days go by they call Amazon and they look at their account and they say well we've already deposited the money whenever they look into it it appears that their account was changed so the person went in and they actually changed the checking account that the deposit was actually going to be deposited into so this is one thing that you want to make sure that you look into is Whenever you get those emails from Amazon, I know you get a ton of them, is even go into your Amazon account, disable emails if you're getting too many, because you need to pay attention, because Amazon's gonna send you an email and say, hey, your payment account was changed. And if you're getting 100 different emails about shipping and you know this item was shipped or all of these emails, then it might get mixed in there. So even if you can just filter out all those emails and you only see the important ones like this account has changed, your password has changed, or those emails, then that would be good information to get because this could have been avoided had the person um, gotten that initial email that said, hey, your bank account had changed. They could have called immediately and then gotten this resolved pretty quickly. But they didn't notice that email or the, maybe the email didn't go out properly. I'm not sure you know where the disconnect was but anyway so now they're fighting to get their money back Amazon already sent the money so they don't want to send it again then you have the person who needs that money to finance their business they have a lot of inventory at Amazon and now they can't get access to their money and this could cause a shutdown of their business because they don't have the funds to operate their business anymore also what we have to also look at is someone can get in there they can order a removal order to an address. Let's say you have $100,000 in inventory. What if they order a removal order of everything in your inventory and just remove it to their location or their warehouse or wherever, wherever it is? Maybe they could just order it to a freight forwarding company and the freight forwarding company could send it up overseas or wherever it ends up going. And then you log in the next week and all your stuff is already shipped from Amazon and it's already you know in someone else's hand. So a lot of things can happen. So what I recommend for everyone to do is to go into Amazon and do Amazon two-factor authentication. And whenever you set up um, Amazon two-factor authentication, but what it's gonna allow you to do is either set up your cell phone or you can set up a different, an alternate email address. And what's gonna happen is every time you log in from this point forward, it's going to send a special code. The special code is only gonna be active for a few um, minutes. So let's say I try to log into my Amazon account now. It's not gonna let me log in unless I put the code that it sends me immediately to my phone. So if someone hacks my account, they figure out what my password is, I'm gonna get an email that's gonna say, hey, uh, you tried to log in, here's your password. 
So unless someone has access to directly to my phone and to my Amazon, there's no way for them to get into Amazon and actually start messing with things. So the two-factor identification, authentication, seems like your best bet right now, even changing your password. Um, it's kind of up in the air how people are getting into people's account. It could be phishing, meaning someone sending you an email and the email might say something like, um, this listing has been restricted. Click here and um, we will, you know, uh, and you can get this item unrestricted or something like that. And then you click it, it downloads a little virus or key logger or something like that. And then they start tracking your key logging and they figure out what your password is, uh, something like that. So there's a few ways for them to get your password, but the only really secure way I think going forward since all these people, there's been at least six out of um, a group of uh, a few hundred people that I've, you know, that I've been in, that I've seen. So I know this is happening widespread and I've seen it posted on the Amazon groups in general. So this is happening. It is real. I think that everybody should go to two-factor authentication. Make sure that you do this as soon as possible. If you lose all your inventory and a payout or two because you know they switch over your password, this could mean that this could be a life changer. This could be a game changer for your business. So everybody needs to look into this today. Everybody needs to look into this right now. Don't wait another day. We don't know when or if this might happen to your account. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day and make some money using OA X-Ray. Please like and subscribe. And if you have a question about Amazon, put a comment down below and I'll make a video about it as soon as I can.